Well, hello, church. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the great physician. I greet you in a time when there is uh, much concern regarding the, the coronavirus and the spread of this virus, but I also greet you in a time when there is hope that our God is still God. We are living in unprecedented times. I never thought I would be posting a video to my church because I was not able to have worship as we normally do. But in this time, I want you to know that our church uh, leadership, the church staff are all working together uh, to make sure that we stay connected, to make sure that we continue being the church, that we are the hands and feet of Christ reaching out into this community to offer, offer God's love, uh, to help others to know, love, and serve God, that, that we truly can be a light to the nations as we say we are. Some of the ways that we're going to be doing this is uh, through the opportunities that we can share videos. Where daily you will receive a, a video uh, through our social media platforms. It'll be on YouTube. Uh, they will be on the uh, Facebook page uh, and we will put them on our website. I'm also going to be attempting to send them out by email each day. We'll send these videos out to you so that you can have an opportunity to hear from different staff members about their favorite verses uh, and, and why they're so meaningful, especially in a time like this. You'll hear from members of our praise team and our choir about songs that are meaningful to them and, and even have an opportunity to either hear them uh, or uh, follow a link to watch a video of the song often performed by the original recording artist. We'll be offering online worship. Uh, we're not 100% sure what that will look like on Sunday, but we will have an opportunity for you to worship Sunday morning. We're looking at the option for drive-through communion. What that could look like, how we could do that, I'm already in process and have ordered supplies to make that happen. So be watching for that opportunity. Uh, we want to make sure that we continue to be the church because in times like this the world needs the hope that comes in Jesus Christ. I wanted to share a verse with you that I shared with you in the original email. It comes from Isaiah. It's the words that God gave to the prophet Isaiah that he shared with the people of Israel. Isaiah Chapter 41, beginning in verse 9, I have called you back from the ends of the earth so that you can serve me. For I have chosen you and will not throw you away. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. The truth is, we don't know what the days and weeks ahead will bring. We don't know uh, if we already have a case in Brown County. Uh, we have six people who have been tested that I know of. Uh, I know that we have members of our church who have family members that are in quarantine either because they're suspected to have uh, COVID-19 or because they've been in con direct contact with someone who did. We know members of our church whose lives have been completely turned upside down because of the response to the virus in closing restaurants, in limiting uh, gathering opportunities, in closing the schools. We are very mindful of the fact that the world is not going on as usual. And yet at the same time we seek some sense of normalcy. So it's my prayer that in these times that you will create new rhythms and habits that keep you in contact with family, keep you close to one another, and even more than that, build your relationship with God. That you would be built and make your relationship stronger and stronger each day is you're in isolation from the community and the world around you, but not from God. 
and know that we as a church are here. We are here for you. We are here with you. You do not go through this alone as we do not go through this alone. We are in this together. Uh, our church administrator, Kathy Brando, has already been compiling a list of those who are willing to help. Uh, if, if you have a need to, uh, for groceries and you have a compromised immune system and you don't need to go to the grocery store, we have people that will go to the grocery store for you. If uh, you uh, need a ride to the doctor, we have people who are willing to give you a ride to the doctor. Uh, we are working together with uh, the school and with Good Samaritan to find ways to, to continue being the hands and feet of Christ in this community, to deliver our, our Food for Thought program to the homes of the children who usually receive those, those meals. We are a people of hope. We do not give up on hope. We do not give up on what Christ can do in and through each one of us. So as we continue to be the church, even though we, we don't gather together in a large group for worship, even though we, we aren't gathering together in our small groups as we did, and maybe we're using online platforms such as Zoom or, or uh, Facebook Live or whatever platform we use to stay in touch with one another. It may not be business as usual, but we are still the church, working together, gathering together, as the hands and feet, whether it's virtually or physically, so that we can serve our God, so we can serve our community, so we can offer Christ to those who are lost. I close with another verse. A verse from Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 23 and 24. Without wavering, let us hold tightly to the hope we say we have, for God can be trusted to keep His promises. Think of ways to encourage one another to outbursts of love and good deeds. Now I want to read that last verse again because I would expect that we would encourage each other with outbursts of love and good deeds. But the scripture clearly says, think of ways to encourage one another to outbursts of love and good deeds. May we move beyond just encouraging one another, but may we encourage one another to do the good deeds that God has called us to do, to reach out in love to those around us, to truly be the hands and feet of Christ in a world in crisis. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.